Azog was one of the last characters on The Hobbit to get design approval. Originally cast as an actor in prosthetics, Peter Jackson decided Azog needed to really stand out from the rest of the orcs, so Azog became the seven-foot pale orc that we see in the film. This meant a very condensed time frame to get him up to scratch. Since Azog was now an entirely CG hero character, we moved to performance capture. At this stage, we know how to guide a capture session to get the type of performance we need for the character. Casting his key and Manu Bennett's muscular build and the heavy-weighted mace prop gave his captured motions a weight and a feel that seemed both powerful and believable. It also helped that Manu just gave the perfect performance that fit into the design of Azog the way that Andy Serkis fits into Gollum. Using our muscle simulation system allowed us to get the base motions onto the character very quickly and gave us time to really work on the finer details of his character. We also have a very robust facial system that was started during Avatar and improved upon with each new film. We have artists at every level who have used the system for years and know how to use it to best effect. As a result, in a very little time and with very few tweaks, we had a working, believable facial performance for Azog. Whereas with other CG characters we have developed from scratch, it can take months before they start feeling right. But with a bit of luck and a lot of artistry and technical know-how, Azog showed up in shots pretty much fully formed.